Hey guys, uh, today we're here with the create um, harvester tutorial and all the different ways to work it. And then in the end, I'm going to be showing you a pretty decent, just basic crop farm. So first thing we're going to start with is different ways to power these mechanical harvesters. Um, so I'm just using creative motors here. Obviously, if you're in survival, you got to figure out your own power, like stress source. But um, one way to have work these harvesters is on these mechanical pistons. I have this one sticky, so I can retract it. And I would recommend the movement mode having it be only place only in starting position or place only when anchor destroyed, just because if it places when it's fully extended it will unho your soil but if you have it set to either of these it won't place when it's extended out anyway um, so if we power this it's gonna push the harvester and the harvester will uh, break the crops I don't have any like collection method on any of these so the crops are just gonna go on the ground but that's fine for now and as you can see it you can just bring it back so that's one way to use the harvester here and let me show you what happens if you have it in the default movement mode and why you wouldn't want to do that so it'll still harvest your crops and everything but as soon as the piston fully extends it'll place and destroy your crops and unho your soil so that's why you don't want to do that um, okay next way to power the harvester is on these cart contraptions so um, I have everything glued together here you gotta make sure it's all glued together correctly otherwise the cart assembler thing won't pick it up and then so now this is all a cart contraption so if I push it along oh my goodness well there, if I push it why is it going backwards if you push it along it's gonna harvest it just like that and the harvester does need to be going forward for it to work so it won't harvest if it's going backwards through it but um I don't really like cart contraptions that much for this type of thing just because there's better ways to do it and the last way in my opinion the best way to power these harvesters is on mechanical bearings and again I have this one to set to only place near initial angle if you're gonna have a full 360 design I would recommend having place only when anchor destroyed just so it never tramples your crops but this one will just spin the harvester around and collect the crops and then as you can see I have some spots left out here so it won't if you have it set up exactly like this it's not going to harvest the crops closest and it'll miss the corners but other than that it harvests a very big range now I'm going to show you how to make a semi decent farm with mechanical bearings um, so the first step is I'm going to power it from below you can put this above if you want to but I think it'll look better powered below and I'm gonna have this exposed here and set it to place only near initial angle for now but once I'm done with it I'm gonna have it set to place only when anchor destroyed so what we need to start with is our water here because we need to water our soil and then I'm just gonna have this go four blocks out like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four on each side. And I think this should, the water should reach all of these soil spots. Let me just finish following up this land. And then I will change the tick speed to high so we can see 
if it does water up all my soil here. I might miss the corners. Oops. Yeah, okay, it misses the corners, but that's fine for this contraption. Um, all right, and then, so next, we're just gonna have it spin, have an arm sticking out of it like this. We do need to super glue all this together. And now I'm gonna spin this to see which direction it spins. Now I know it's spinning counterclockwise like this, so I know where, what side to put my mechanical harvesters on. And it'll be this side. And now, if I, oh man, what is it called actually? That is very sad that I forgot what it's called. Um, it's this one, portable storage interface. So we want this and then we're going to put it here and I actually need to do this and all of these together just like that. So port portable storage interface, this will uh, interact with a different portable storage interface with a one block gap on any moving contraption and then you just want to have any exit so we're gonna do just I'm just gonna put a a shoot and then since I have the storage drawer mod installed I'm just gonna put a storage drawer under this but uh, you can do any sort of chest so now this is gonna hold all of our crops and if we run this Oh no, it looks like I glued my dirt. So I do not want to have my dirt glued to my contraption here. So I'm going to run this again, and my dirt is not glued this time. So now we're going to set the movement mode to only place when anchored. So now this should never place, and as you can see, it's spinning around, and when it passes by the portable storage interface, it interacts with it. It may not look like it's hitting it directly, but it'll interact with it on every pass. So now, if we get our carrots again here, and plant it up, and as you can see, because it is a circle, I don't think a lot of more of these corners are gonna get harvested as much as you would necessarily want them to, so I might um, trample some of the corners that don't get harvested here but if we plant all along here this whole crop area and try and avoid the harvester arm as it swings around we will see this whole area be planted up I'm going to set the tick speed to really high again so my crops grow fast. So this is how it's going to look when it's like working all good. And as you can see, oh, you know what? I did forget to do that, didn't I? So we need to put just some chests on here. Otherwise, it's not going to have anywhere for the carrots to go. So we gotta glue the chest on here, and then, now if we start it, it, sh it should harvest the crops. Yep, there we go. So as you can see, it's harvesting the crops, and then putting them away in the portable storage interface. There is some time delay on it, because it takes a little bit for the stuff to go into the uh, portable storage interface. And if we look at the edges here, we can see what isn't getting harvested. And it is like this. So this is the circle that you would make for this size one and if we go look at our drawer here it's already full of seven stacks of carrots 
and obviously this is running at 300 times speed because base tick speed is 3 so it's not going to be this fast and then another thing if you want to power it from above you could easily just instead of putting the mechanical bearing at the bottom there you could put it on um, oops. you could put it if that was a mechanical bearing, you could put the mechanical bearing there, facing downwards, uh, because the mechanical bearings work from most angles, so that's always an option. Oh man, I am just, this is a little bit hard to do what I want while I am, have the machine running, but anyway, so this is just the basic, uh, any crop farm that I like to use. Um, this works for potatoes, beetroot, wheat, carrots, any form of like crops that just grow like this. One thing you do have to be aware of though is if you do carrots, or not carrots, if you do wheat and beetroot and potatoes I guess, you, um, you do want to have more than just a drawer here because you'll get the crop and then the seeds and then with the potatoes you do have the chance to get poisonous potatoes so if you just have one drawer here um, it's gonna get clogged up and you'll end up losing out on a lot of items so just be sure to if you're doing anything that can have that has more than one thing when you break it to have uh, a split here for the one thing and then the other thing but otherwise, that's how to use the mechanical harvesters and a basic farm for it. Um, I hope this helped. Bye-bye.